Hockey fans, robot fans, nerds from near and far, it's time for the ultimate competition right at the intersection of sports and engineering. I'm Vanessa Lee. And I'm Phil Regalbuto. Welcome to ASEE's two-year college division model design competition. Now, Philip, we see this competition every year at ASE with teams from colleges building robots to solve unique problems. Tell us, what's the challenge this year? This year, it's hockey. The idea is to shoot colored pucks into the opposite goals, and there's one black puck which can go into either goal. This competition is open to any freshman and sophomore engineering, engineering technology student. It looks like it's a lot of fun. Yes, we've been doing this in our division for over 25 years. More than 25 years, wow. Nice shot. Yes. Let's get an instant replay on that one. How are they being controlled? It's autonomous. They're autonomous robots. Yes, they're programmed. This is the last shot. Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to the field of play now to hear from our contestants. We're doing pretty good on the runs. We've gotten perfect scores each time. The problem is it's kind of a race against the clock. So other teams have, you know, maybe not as consistent runs, but they're less time, which, you know, helps them because you get more points for the amount of time that you don't use. We had to have a serious mindset change um, yeah. because we were very focused on collecting all of the pucks and shooting them from the center in the name of efficiency. But then like two months ago, like we had that decision. We were like, we need to focus on simplicity and something that we can realistically get done in the amount of time that we allot for ourselves before the competition. The fact that we were so collaborative as a team really helped us because we were able to come together with so many different ideas and really bring them together and see what worked, see what didn't, test things out, make a lot of prototypes. That's very important because if you aren't testing it out physically, then you're not going to have any idea how it functions. One of the biggest things I've seen change is that um, the prices for the controllers and the sensors have gone way down and they're a lot better than they used to be. And a lot of the schools are creating their own specialized parts using 3D printing. It has wholly, totally changed this, this competition. That was a tough break. Let's see that again. Yes. Let's cut back to the field to hear from another contestant. We keep a track of how many runs we do at home. We were able to do 10 runs perfect, no, no misses at home, which you'd think would prepare you really well for the course, but when you get here, there's variables that are different, the robots don't behave the way you expect them to, new problems show up, so that's been the biggest uh, struggle, is adapting to the competition while we're here. This morning we had some difficulty with these two robots getting off to a bad start, getting stuck, bumping into each other, but that seems to be resolved, so I'm very happy with the way the robots are performing. Communication is a big factor, uh, making sure everyone's on the same page um, and working uh, collectively to make it happen because it's easy for one part to like work on something, another part to work on something, and then miss each other in the process. So it's really important to be able to communicate and talk to each other, but also just be open to everyone's ideas because you don't know what you might use, even if you've moved past it. Philip, next year's meeting will be in Charlotte, North Carolina. Any hints on what that competition will look like? Yes, it's called a robot range picker. We have balls. The uh, robots are supposed to pick up the balls and put the white balls in the white containers, the blue balls in the blue containers, and the red balls in the red containers. They can find more information about next year's design competition at robotresearchlab.com. Awesome, we're looking forward to it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Vanessa Lee. And I'm Phil Rickelbuto. We'll catch you next time.